2023, Tinubu returns to Nigeria after UK trip continues consultations. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To be the first to get notified when we we'll post new hot juicy updates, please click on the notification bell. All Progressive Congress National Leader Bola Tenembe has returned to Nigeria about 10 days after he traveled to the United Kingdom, the punch reports. Well, 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 finally, the Jagaban is back in town. Well, I think days ago, it was flying all over social media that after he consulted for, he consulted, he, he's presently consulting so after he went for consultation in various parts of the country, in the north and the south and wherever, they actually flew out. And, you know, before you know it, everybody started spreading, spreading the news or information that, oh, he's, he went for medical treatment and all of that and all of that. Now he came back and guess what? He came back looking fresh. What they call, well, you know that fresh now, that kind of fresh Fouls the bad guy is always talking about. He came back in a jogger. He came back, I think, in the blaze and the jogger. I'm like, ah, come on. They are not going to, we are not going to be deceived with this new look. The news in detail, please stay with us. Okay. Our correspondent gathered that the former Lagos State Governor and Presidential hopeful landed at the Motala Mohammed International Airport about 8 p.m. on Sunday, where he received. He was received by some leaders of a 2023 campaign train. Tenebu spokesman Tunde Roman confirmed the development to a correspondent in a telephone chat. He, Tenebu, just arrived. The airport. Just now, he said. The Punch have reported that the Sustanaya old politician traveled overseas last week to hold some meetings and further consultations in line with his 2023 presidential ambition. There was speculation that he had traveled again to London on health grounds, but a spokesman debunked it saying his principle was vibrant. On January 10, 2022, Tenebu had visited the president. Major General Muhammad Buhari retired and announced to Steve House correspondent that he had informed the president of his intention to contest the presidential election in 2023. Before his most recent UK trip, Senegal had traveled to some parts of the country, including Oyo, Niger, and Zanfra State, to widen consultations for his presidential ambition. With his return on Sunday, the APC leader is expected to continue consultation for his presidential bid, which he described as his lifelong dream. Salimu has stayed in the United Kingdom for over three months in 2021 when he underwent surgery and therapy for knee injury. He, however, returned to the country in October of the same year and traveled to some parts of the country to meet political juggernauts and stakeholders ahead of the next election. The health condition of the APC leader has constantly become a subject of controversy, but many of the staunch supporters have argued that Sinembu is fit to become Nigeria's president, adding that he is not older than the current president of the United States, Joe Biden, 79, and his predecessor, Donald Trump, 75. Other presidential hopefuls so far in the All Progressive Congress include Governor of Ebony State, Dave Omahe, ex Governor of Ima State, Rocha Sokorocha, former Governor of Abia State, and Majority Whip of the Senate, Senator Oji Kalu, among others. Vice President Osiba Njo Yemi, who served as Attorney General in Lagos from 1999 to 2007, while Tenebo was Governor has also been rumored to nurse an ambition to succeed his boss through the 2023 election, but the professor of the law has not officially made his intention known. Aside from the APC chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who have shown interest in guessing the party's 2023 presidential ticket, include former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, former Senate President Bukola Saraki, Sukoto State Governor Amin Otambowal, 
Boucher State Governor Paula Mohamed and former Governor of Kano State Rabiu Pongkwasu. While some of them had yet to officially declare their presidential bid, they are strong indication that they are eyeing the exalted seat in Asovila. Other PDP stalwarts, including former Senate President and Secretary to the Government of Federation, Pius Anyum, former Akiti State Governor Ayodele Fayoshi, former Governor of Anambra State, P2B, major personality Denle Momodu, amongst others, have also expressed interest in running for president ahead of the party primaries, which are expected to hold later this year. Well, 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 what do we have here? Hmm. So he actually came into the country looking as fresh as, you know, fresh bread. If you see him, and it's very looking wonderful, will I say jacket or blazers now, and his um, joggers and his sneakers. I tell you, you are going to say, oh, well, this is the young Boba, but unfortunately, um... We're not looking at looks this time around. Yes, you're not looking at um, how... My owners, we have used... We have tried experience. We have tried voting for somebody by through experience. We have tried, okay, this person, he has experience, is going to take us to the promised land. Nothing. It failed. We have tried the fact that, oh, this person, oh, he speaks democratically because anybody that knows Tenembo... If you have been following Tenembo's story, Tenembo is somebody that he came out and fought for democracy and so And people are like, hey, you know, somebody different. And at the end of the video, what happened? He's now old. We are now living on what he used to say. He's no longer living in that his, you know, that thing he came out with. You know, he came out with a favorance for like a, a, a voice to the voiceless, you know, the masses. He came out with, you know, saying, you know, he wants to do right by the masses and all of that. But all of a sudden... All those ambitions are gradually dropped. We are now saying, if, okay, power has, has intoxicated him, right? Oh, is that what you said? Okay. It's not looking like, you know, everything changed. And people are not living on his past glories as, oh, he's the fool, was the father of democracy. And no, no. They say, I guess I'm before, you know, be property. Not be property at all. So, Nigerians, I am pleading on our behalf for the sake of our, even if it is not for your sake, for the sake of our future generation. If you're saying and uh, you don't have any generation now, what about your family members? Don't they have? What about your relatives? Don't they have? What about your friends? Don't they have? Don't jeopardize your don't jeopardize the future of this country just because of one instant gratification you might be getting. I am begging of us. We should give this our best shot and ensure that we do our best to put in somebody who is competent for that particular seat. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.